There were a couple of games that I had to read. I was like, yeah, you know, that I just, I, I told you, I got that. I just, the only game that was spread to me was the top of projection. I told you, you know, that you did okay. They did. Is it Alabama? Um, well, I don't know exactly. I read the projection score and the ones that are the largest guys there, which was the top of the Okay, we will call this meeting of Sunday County Commissioners to order for what is today, January 8th, 2018, first meeting of the year. Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, uh, please join me in a short prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for another wonderful year. Thank you for allowing us to uh, preside over this county commission for another year. We appreciate it. We ask for your wisdom and we make our decisions that they are in the best interest of those we serve. And as always, we ask for your special prayers for those men and women serving us and their families, protecting their freedoms. We ask all this through your son. Amen. Okay, uh, roll call. Commissioner Kirshner? Here. Commissioner Thomas? Here. Commissioner Stacy. Here. I'll accept the motion to approve the journal from the digital audio video recording of the previous meeting of December 27th, 2017. So moved. I'll second. Roll call, please. Commissioner Stacy. Yes. Commissioner Thomas? Yes. Commissioner Kirchner? Yes. Okay. Well, commissioners, any adjustments to the agenda this evening? Uh, I've got a couple things I want to talk about. I want to talk about the parking study. Okay. And I want to talk about uh, scope for SIDEC. SIDEC? Commissioner? No, I have nothing. Thank you. Administrator? I don't think so. No? Well, let's just go ahead with your uh, two items, uh, Commissioner Thomas. Um, do you want to let Veterans Services go? Sure, 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 sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So they don't have to take it away too. <laughs> well, thank you for having us tonight. I appreciate you letting us come up short notice. Um, historically, we always like to have a budget hearing with you. Uh, some counties don't get along as well as we do. Uh, fortunately, we all have the same goal, and that's to make sure our veterans get exactly what they need and deserve in this county. Um, I provided you with a GDX. Um, it's from last year. We don't have the numbers for this year yet, but you'll see last year for every dollar you allowed us to spend, you got 43 federal tax dollars here in the county spent. So it's a pretty good return for your money. <coughs> If you have any questions for me, I'm happy to answer them, but we just pretty much just wanted to say thank you for working with us as well as you do. We appreciate you and God bless what you do and we're happy to spend the money for the veterans for sure. Well, thanks. Is there anything else we can do to, to help? We have a great working relationship. Yeah. I Facilities are good. Oh, Everything's good. yes. Yeah. Couple folks. I'm out of line. There's too many questions. We all know we have some issues, but it's okay. I just have one question. How did? Was there a response from the fair with your new building and able to? We had a fabulous response. I'm assuming it was nice. I was got to see it. As a matter of fact, we're hoping this year to involve the Seneca United Veterans Council more and the. I, I don't know what you would call it, Fine Arts Barn or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the Veterans Barn yeah. next to our little building now. Mm -hmm. um, we've gotten a really good response. We're hoping that they'll participate more. And it's really nice having that there. It's very well labeled and we are able to offer, some veterans have health problems and the fair is a fun place to go, but it does get really hot <laughs> and if they get overheated or if it's too dusty, it's a little escape. It's yeah. pretty nice to have Yeah, that. just to continue to let us know if there's any special events, if there's anybody getting any special awards, if you have any special meetings. We love having you come. Uh, so we, we would love, we'd love to make time to do that. So just let us, keep letting us know, please. We will certainly keep inviting you. <laughs> Good. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Right. Thanks, guys. Okay. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. we'll go now. <laughs> <laughs> we're, 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 not <laughs> we're, we're not offended. We're not offended. We're not offended. We appreciate that. Thanks, and have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Thanks. Thanks. Bye now. Bye. Okay. So we're on parking, we had our parking mm -hmm. meeting uh, this this noon at Judge Shuff's chambers, and uh, if you recall, we discussed the possibility of doing a parking study, a feasibility study of whether or not uh, there could be an additional parking garage created in downtown uh, area, uh, precipitated by the Justice Center being erected and uh, you know more bodies being drawn to the center of, of Tiffin. Uh, so, you know, that we've looked at that for a while. We had a little bit of indigestion I did personally with the, the scope of the last uh, study, but the scope has been broadened to incorporate more sites and, and do be a little bit more comprehensive of a study. So uh, it was discussed today to see if the commissioners would be uh, willing to move forward with the study, uh, essentially some kind of format where the judges would pay a third, the city would pay a third, and the county would pay a third. By broadening the scope, you know, we broaden the price. So the price is going to be, you know, eighteen to twenty thousand. So we would probably be into it, uh, seven thousand uh, dollars. The idea being that we have to have a plan in place if we were going to uh, proceed with any kind of grant funding or capital budget budget funding. And uh, so it, it may be a plan that goes on the shelf for a moment, but uh, we'll, we'll need to you know, start looking for funding opportunities uh, as, as soon as possible. So that's, that's the, the ask is for $7,000, uh, up to $7,000, a third from the county. I appreciate you getting us a copy of that, which we get just got today. Yeah. That is, I think, seven pages of that yep. of that scope report, and I've had a chance to read it fairly quickly. I didn't print it, highlight or anything else. I think there'll be a couple areas I just like to look at a little further. I'm not against us yep, being fine. joining in on being part of of the study, but there's a couple things I want to add, you know look at a little more closely okay. and no highlight problem. to ask, so I know what it is we are. You know, contributing towards and getting. Okay, so you put it on the agenda for Tuesday. Okay, and that'll be the 16th. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we'll have that discussion on Tuesday the 16th. Okay. Economic yeah. development. Yeah. So I met met with David Zach, and uh, you know, we have historically put money into SIDEC, and I'm not sure that we've really had a specific ask or scope of work for SIDEC. And I wanted to sit down with David and, and give him my thoughts on what you know I thought we should be asking for as a SIDEC being a county economic development agency. And so we, we noodled around some ideas and you know if, if either one of you have some ideas that you want to share with David, um, you know, I appreciate it if you do that. Uh, you know, I would expect him back in here in a, in a month or so to ask for uh, you know the additional funding. You know historically we've given sixty-seven thousand. Uh, this year we've got him in the budget seventeen, so he's probably going to be back in here looking for that fifty. Uh, and you know from my perspective, I just wanted to make sure that we were, um, you know, getting what I deem to be countywide economic development. And, you know some of the things that we came up with. Uh, and he's very open, very uh, positive about this, but some of the things we came up with is uh, doing a, a countywide inventory of industrial and retail sites. You know, I know that in New Regal, there's the, the, the site of the old packing plant. In Attica, there's the site of the Pioneer Rubber. You know, Bloomville's got sites, Republic's got sites. And, you know, we need to update that across the county and uh, so that that would be one thing that would be measurable uh, if we can get that that task list uh, just reaching out to the township trustees and the village mayors to show them that uh, you know, they have economic development support out of you know SIDEC I think that would be um, meaningful so some kind of maybe benchmarking of contacts made to trustees and village 
villages, village mayors, big village councils, uh, and whatnot. Uh, and also, kind of spreading the love at Seneca Success, which is the, the Facebook page, in trying to find uh, ways to promote some of the things that are going on in the county, uh, as well as we've done here centrally in, in the county. Uh, for instance, you know, they do a very nice job of reporting on nice things that happen at Tiffin City Schools, and I, and I really appreciate that. But good things happen at Old Fort Schools and Seneca East Schools and Hopewell Loudon and Lakota and Buckeye Central. So getting those school districts plugged into Seneca Success so that that good news can be shared as well. So I mean, those are some of the things that we came up with in, in brainstorming. Uh, so I, I encourage you to have that conversation with David if you have any. Yeah, we'll do that. I know the, um, just to capitalize what you said about the amount we've given SIDAC, you said it historically, but it, it really was kind of a short history that they were at that level because I don't know what it was prior to my existence, but it was less than it was back to what the level we did this year. And then we were up the additional 50 they'd ask about that in need for a two year commitment. I think we did that for three years. Three years. And so now we're back at the other, but appreciate you having that discussion and forewarned to make sure we think about those kinds of things and what it means because I think uh, I guess historically on a county-wide level Fall Story in its own economic development and with SIDEC um, you know they've done a lot of great things for the area but I uh, greatly appreciate that perspective of um, broadening that that county outreach a bit um, things that we can look at and have discussions about yeah I think it's good to address it we have we have David's been pretty comprehensive in the reports that he's given us over the past two or three years and, and put together what he's asked, what we've asked him to do. So I'm sure that he'll put this additional information together and we'll get a good look. Okay. All right. Uh, so we go on to new business. Uh, and this is a reorganization meeting, as everyone knows. Um, so uh, procedures for that are as follows. Well, we need... President and uh, Vice President. I'd like to make a motion that uh, Mike remain as President and Holly assumes the role of Vice President. And if the role of Tribal Chair becomes available, I'll take it. <laughs> did, you, did you see that on the, on the census stuff? <laughs> Highest elected official and goes to Mike or Tribal Chair. Yeah. Now, like, we need a Tribal Chair. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> There's got to be a lot of great responses to that. I don't think any of them were appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of thinking that as well. Yeah. Yeah. I reminded of no, no. <laughs> We got a thing from the census that the highest elected official or, or tribal, tribal chair. chair. I did. Or tribal right, I did say that. <laughs> that is amazing. Okay, we have a motion to put in a second. I will second that. Roll call, motion. please. Commissioner Stacy? Yes. Commissioner Thomas? Yes. Commissioner Kirshner? Yes. Okay, now board dates. Oh, you have a calendar for a moment. You just got your calendar? I'm sure you do. You're it's fine. charged as it Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> I'm going back to get my uh, PowerPoint presentation. Bring your whiteout, too. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's a kid. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I like the Tuesday meetings, not that it has to be that way. I'm, I'm now being the senior um, tenure person, but I know for the past five years that's worked well to have the 10 o'clock Tuesdays and then whatever one, if there's a desire to have a work, a designated day that, because there's times that things come up, somebody calls and says, hey, I'd like to talk to the commissioners, and sometimes they're more comfortable with that in the work session environment. The work session environment, we've always been, managed to have something on, if not always pre-scheduled, to still have appropriate topics to to talk about during that. So if that's the desire, I I like what we started doing five years ago about the quarterly offsite. This is this is a, a different time than the ten o'clock, <laughs> um, but either offsite and or just an evening meeting. Wouldn't say it has to be offsite, but um, where we we've, we've done some offsite during the day where we've been at the schools. Um, but be I guess open to that. That doesn't have to be scheduled. But if we want the quarterly as a routine thing or not, is those are just my thoughts on things that have been done. Well, at this point, I've got everything scheduled through January on Tuesday. So if we can stick with Tuesday at least through the month of uh, January, that would be a good thing. 
uh, beyond that, you know, I'm willing to, to try yeah. whatever. I, yeah, Tuesdays, it works for me at this point. So okay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, work sessions, if, you know, if we need them. Or I don't know if we need to schedule them. But yeah, I don't know if we need What do you... You guys get the calls, um, and, you know. Does that help you to know that? Well, they typically have done. A, we've got a work session every certain day of each month, or not? Um, Is that easier than? Well, if we don't have a work session, we just tell them to schedule in at a regular session. But we usually say, "But we got a work session coming up." And yeah, I mean, usually, if if, it's, if the agenda is obviously going to be long for a particular meeting, mm -hmm. many of the items in the agenda probably could at least be discussed during the work session, and right. we could come to a quicker decision, if mm -hmm. you will. So. But we're beyond. We're beyond the. We've been I on mean, the second Tuesday. Second yeah, my, my that's that's a good. I mean, I'm good with that suggestion. If you guys will work with that, the second second Tuesday work session at, at 9:30. <laughs> um, let's try it. That's why you have a paper calendar. That's why. You have and, that, a and that doesn't preclude have, that doesn't preclude somebody coming out on Monday saying, you know, it's a work session tomorrow, huh? you know, before the meeting tomorrow. I think that's fine. No, the only thing we have to have is a 24-hour notice. Yeah. The meeting notice with um, even the work session. Yeah. yeah. But as long as we schedule a work session, the topics can. Yeah. The there. topics can. Yeah. Be added in. So we're going to stick with Tuesdays at 10. The second Tuesday, 9.30 for work sessions. And we're going to start our Tuesday's meeting starting next uh, Tuesday. Next Tuesday. No, we need to have one tomorrow. The 16th. 16th. Yeah, the 16th. Okay. And um, I did not look at the calendar. It looks like we listed the evening dates, but we, we don't have to. I think we ended up changing two of them last year um, for uh, different reasons. So. Yeah, we can just if you still want those quarterly meetings, I'll look up those meetings and. Are we trying to? Or we're trying to rotate shop townships, right? Is yes, township, so villages, townships or villages or, villages or whatever works to get us. Turn next. Um. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have my list. Okay. Looks like we had to reschedule Loudon. Um, so I guess they would either pop in next or what was, um, next would have been Seneca. But we skipped Loudon, so I guess I should go back up to Loudon. Then well, the other, the other thing that I would suggest, we spent a while since we went to Fostoria. We were there probably two years ago. We were there. Yeah, because it was before you were. Yeah, you know, I, I would, you know, I'd, I'd like to do them more often, if you will, than, uh, Yeah, we did one in 13 and we did Fostoria in 15. Just because of the population yeah. size. We did not get there in 16 okay. or 17 because we were going through the whole list of right, villages right. and townships. We had got recirculated back to, okay. back to Foster. And did we actually have a joint uh, commissioner's meeting and uh, council meeting with the city of Tiffin at one point? Or were those just uh, just Just meetings? one with Justice Center stuff. A few years back, right. but not not a joint. I guess business mm -hmm. meeting, session. regular okay. session. Are we still at seven? The evening meetings. I mean, but that's up for debate. I guess if we want, if we consider that, want to have it. But the night ones do mean seven o'clock is at the time we're looking at. And to your point, Shane, I like. Um, you know, we did one in Calvert, we did one in Columbia. I'd love to do Seneca Easter and there we go. Or, you know, yeah. Mohawk, pick a pick a place. So maybe if you could hand, maybe you could uh, take that and mm -hmm. find out where it might be. So if we get one in Fostoria, one at a school, <laughs> and the school one could be a, notice, could be a, we don't have to. could be the day one if they want the students to be able put to put it in the resolution, yeah. right. a history class to be there or something. Holly's got a program that she likes to do. We haven't been able to do it anywhere yet. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna get that done once. A little role playing deal. That's right. We'll okay. just we'll leave those as um, <coughs> we'll schedule them as we as we need them. Usually we needed them end of January, end of April, right. uh, July, and October. But you so. are loud in March. Is that is that, is, is that what you? That's fine. We do one in January or no? Wait well, you know, maybe if you can get a school in January. Um, I don't, you know, we could have an extra meeting. That's not a big deal. If Tuesday doesn't work for them. 
they want to go Thursday as long as everybody agrees they can be there, we'll do we can do that. Yeah. Um, I know I got a solid. <coughs> if you could do it, Shane, uh, by chance, uh, some somewhere either on the twenty or on the thirtieth, which is a um, regularly scheduled day, and uh, you know that entire next week up until the sixth, we could get one in there someplace. And, and again, an extra meeting, it doesn't matter. I mean, we, we can have it on Wednesday or Thursday, whether it's school, whatever works for them, as long as we're okay. The only thing I see on Jan uh, February 1st is children and family first meeting. I'm um, I'm in Columbus on the 1st. On the 1st, so 1st yeah. is out. The 31st, so. I wouldn't be going until the afternoon. Okay, so we could go the morning of the 31st, or we could go Friday the 2nd, which happens to be Groundhog Day. So you guys don't know that when you got here. Yeah, you do if you put the those holidays on the calendar you have that up. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to decide that day if you want to no no, no we don't that's just that's just a good time if you can yeah, get it okay. okay so we'll put in the resolution for the tuesday meetings 10 o'clock starting january 16th and then the second tuesday uh the very month 9 30 work session yeah. Now, the board appointments for the boards of commissioners, so we pretty much decided those. We yep, did. I'll run through them to make sure um, I have them correctly, if you guys even remember. You okay. guys got your cheat sheets. I've got Mr. Kirshner, I have Community Improvement Corporation, Health Advisory Board, OSS, Records Commission, Regional Planning, SIDEC, uh, Regional Planning Executive Committee, WSOS, the DWAR team, Dangerous Wildlife Animal Rescue Re Rescue Team or something. Sorry. <laughs> we'll just make it up. It takes a lot of time. I spent a lot of time with that. So. Yeah. Uh, revolving Loan <laughs> Fund, Land Bank, and Museum Advisory Committee. Uh, Mrs. Stacy gets Community Improvement Corporation, General Health District, OSS, Children and Family First, <laughs> Regional Planning, Health Insurance Advisory, FEBC, Issue One. LEPC, Fair Board, OSU Extension, Regional Planning Exec Committee. Does nope. there need to be two? Nope, that I'm not. Um, that was, yeah. Okay. Uh, Land Bank. And then uh, Commissioner Thomas, Community Improvement Corporation, Investment Committee, District Health Advisory Board, Law Library Resources Board, uh, the NCORC COG, OSS, Regional Planning, Erie Basin, Community Corrections, Transportation Improvement District in the Chamber of Commerce. And then up after this meeting, then the ones will they get you noted? Know, do we need to reach out to them? Like Family and Children's First. I have no idea what their schedule is. I know you've done that. I've never done that one before. Yep. Will they, or do I need to get in touch with whom? So Sharon? Wilson needs to. To them, to them. Okay, but we'll let Sharon know that. Okay, you're now. So I got a feeling the first uh, meeting. It sounds them. like I'll, I'll be go gone. <laughs> I'll fix. I'll fill it for your first meeting because I saw that was a day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the uh, I had a request from downtown development group or the downtown that somebody from the county maybe Thank join their board. Thank you. So <laughs> that's great. If you do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you all about change. That's one of Amy's committees. Yeah, that's Amy's. Yeah. Okay. Are you trained there? <laughs> I, yeah, I know I was on one of them a couple years, and then the, the next year, I, did, I don't know which one it was, and I went off. Yeah, everybody's been involved a little bit, but I didn't know the commissioner wanted to sell it for yourselves or whatever. We can rotate it, too, if you want to, you know, whatever works. Do you want me to put that on there? Sure. Uh, any others? In the happen? CCAO, we do that in separate resolution? Separate resolution. Okay, what do you have? You need approval of that? So we're we're going to motion for those appo appointments. Okay, so moved. Second. Roll call, please. Commissioner Stacy? Yes. Commissioner Thomas? Yes. Commissioner Fisher? Yes. Okay. That is all those that we have for our organization. All right. Let us uh, get into the supplemental appropriations. Okay, I have a supplemental pro permanent appropriations for the 911 fund. This is to um, re 
appropriate the contract that we put in place last year, um, contract service, $353,053.04. They had to wait till uh, they got the final invoice of 2017 before they could close that, close that certificate, so we didn't have it on the budget. Good. Um, we have resolution authorizing a fund advance from the general fund to the Wolf Creek Petition Ditch Fund, uh, $230,367.30. Um, we have put in here, I think we had talked about before, just like we did with um, oh, County Road 16, we did a five-year payback um, for entities, and it's above a certain amount. I have to check Mark's sheet to see what that amount was. So but we need the general fund needs to advance it, and we'll get it paid back. I have... Um, the annual preparation resolution for the Ohio Historic Connection Rover Pipeline Community Historic Preservation Fund uh, beginning January 8th and ending December 31st. This is $34,923.21 into contract services. I think that's just reappointing yeah. re or reappropriating the money. Um, let's see, I have. It's amending the title because the title is wrong for that. Okay, amending the board's orders of December 27, 2017, volume 93, page 619, annual appropriations resolution for the Justice and Mental Health Collaboration Program Strategic Planning for Law Enforcement and Mental Health Collaboration <laughs> beginning January 1st. How could there be a mistake in the title? Right. It's only that long. Well, it's just community corrections. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, because the amounts. Didn't change. No, so it was just the title. Okay. <laughs> Hence the you reason just you clerical so error days. and change that. <laughs> no, I wasn't allowed because you read the title. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Resolution authorizing Seneca County Engineer to prepare and submit up an application to participate in the Ohio Public Works Commission State Capital Improvement and or Local Transportation Improvement Programs and to execute contracts as required for issue one, round 33 for Seneca County. Resolution authorizing Seneca County engineer to hold an annual meeting of county and towny, township <laughs> authorities. Uh, they have scheduled this for Thursday, March 15th, 2018 at 6 p.m. And this will be held at, it's a little tiny right? Usually, it's it usually does it at the, yeah. You said March 15th, though, right? March 15th. It's on Thursday. I'll have to verify because I don't see. I don't see where he's got the address, but he hasn't decided on location. Usually, it's at the fairgrounds. Um, a resolution authorizing Seneca County Engineer to use the force account pursuant to the Ohio Revised Code, Section 5543.19, the year 2018, in the matter of routine maintenance of equipment and yard facilities and such emergency work as necessary. A resolution authorizing the expenditure of funds for snow for supplies. All right, for snow, we got plenty of snow. <laughs> for supplies for times of snow. snow. <laughs> Don't buy any snow. <laughs> yeah, times of snow removal. I guess we should have done this a little earlier. Uh, emergencies and meetings held by the Seneca County Engineer. Uh, I have a resolution designated, designating Mark Zimmerman as the authorized agent to participate in the ODOT Cooperative Purchasing Program. Resolution appointing members to the Revolving Loan Fund Committee for three-year term. Andy Faber, Andy Steffi, and Rob Brown. Um, I have a resolution to designate the official representative and alternate for the purpose of voting at the annual meetings of the County Commissioners Association in 2018. I think we put down Holly is okay. designated and Shane as the alternate. Okay. And I have resolution authorizing the 2017 schedule of expenditures of federal award contracts between Julian and Groob 
and Seneca County on behalf of the Seneca County Auditor for the year of 18. Is that worded right? Yeah. 2017 schedule. I called to make sure. Okay. 2018. Uh, my resolution authorizing the contract with Pictometry International Corporation for the digital aerial photography of Seneca County on behalf of the Seneca County Auditor, retroactive to January 3rd, 2018. Um, the sheriff has sold some cars, so I have a couple resolutions authorizing the sale of county-owned property. I have a 2006 Buick Rendezvous. I have a 1996 Chrysler Town and Country. And a 2001 Chrysler LHS sedan. We got $1,025 for the Buick Rendezvous. $425 for Chrysler and $300 for the, um, the other Chrysler. All through the deals. Um, I have a resolution establishing the ability to dispose of unneeded, obsolete, and unfit county owned property by means of online internet auctions as an alternate to public auction or sealed bids and charging county department administrators or directors with disposal management oversight retroactive to January 1st, 2018. This was a new code they put into place oh, back, back about probably 12 years ago um, that we could, instead of doing everything through an auction, we could publish it and do it online, like other videos and other right. things like that. So. Um, I have a resolution accepting the petition of the annexation of real estate in the territory of Jackson, Jackson Township to the city of Fostoria, Seneca County, Ohio. And to go along with that, I have a resolution setting time, date, and place of a hearing for the annexation petition for real estate in the territory of Jackson Township to the city of Fostoria. Uh, this is scheduled for Tuesday, March 6th. 2018 at 10 a.m. here at our office. That's really the gentleman was in here the other week. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's not the approving of it, it's just the approving of it, the accepting the petition. Yes. And we'll hold a hearing yep. and then we'll act after the hearing is yep. yeah. procedure. If I understood it, we'll have to, we have to wait 60 days. Probably so many days after the yes. hearing, yeah. Uh, she's been. I understand it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she's been really. This is probably the first one we've done. I don't Since think she's. Yeah. I don't think okay. she's been here. We've always done the expedited instead of the extended. So. We're doing really first. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, last one on the agenda: a resolution. Um, this is for discussion. Uh, accepting the bids and entering into contract with. Electronic Specialty Company for the Audiovisual Equipment for the Justice Center. Uh, again, this bid is for $156,750, and we're going to only accept um, the base bid and um, not the alternate. And that's all I have. We had extensive conversation with the um, architect on this, and in the end, thought this was by far and away the best alternative. So. I'll move that we accept uh, all as presented. Resolution. Supplemental. And I will second. Okay. Roll call, please. Commissioner Stacy? Yes. Commissioner Thomas? Yes. Commissioner Kirschner? Yes. Good thing my pen's running out of ink. I don't think I'm going to make it to that. <laughs> So much for paperless. Yeah. I text Jake and ask him where our services were at. <laughs> okay. That brings us to page two and a half. <laughs> uh, Veteran Services budgets, we got to do that? No. I'm they kidding. were. Okay. <laughs> we did it earlier. Yes, yes. We did that already. Okay. Any, any uh, comments from the gallery tonight, Thomas? <laughs> No. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Give us glad, something. Glad you started out the new year with us. Good to be here. Got to be here for the first one of you who are before them all. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Gentlemen? I do have a question. Yes. Um, do you have any, uh, the number of acres and or a better location of that Jackson Township property? 
Yeah, we have a specific address. It's in the description of the property. I do. Well, she'll give you if you wish it. Yeah, kind of like that, please. Yeah. There's a legal description of the property there. It is, I believe, 6.2 acres. And the address, it's on State Route 12, 10700, West State Route 12, Fostoria. Thank you. Lisa, I have a calendar question. Um, would our Justice Center meeting be on the 25th? Theoretically. It, 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 I don't, it may be on your, it's not showing on mine, but yeah, I know mine has not sunk up. If sunk, if it need to sink, is it sunk? <laughs> yeah, we got all those. <laughs> <laughs> we got to add all those reoccurrings yeah. now that the year has, has changed. But yes, that would have, that would be our next meeting would be the 25th. Okay. I have a question. I, I was gone a couple of days. Any update on uh, the lady or the uh, Cooper and lady are going to probably join up and um, delivery by what it's looking like. So in other words, ladies on schedule and Cooper is delayed a little bit. <laughs> and what, what, what is the approximate time they may meet? I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. We didn't. Oh, no, I know as much as I did before. I asked yeah, you <laughs> exactly. We just, that was the uh, message I saw. Okay. All right. Uh, I will accept the motion to go into executive session. For the purpose of? Building. For the purpose of, yeah, building, per, yeah, building yeah, and personnel. Do those have to be separate executive sessions? I don't think so. Um, nope, stated both. Joint purposes, yes. I think. Joint purpose. Discuss personnel and acquisition of real estate. Is that a motion? That is a motion. I'll second. Okay, let's do a roll call on that. Commissioner Stacy? Yes. Commissioner Thomas? Yes. Commissioner Kirschner? Yes. We do not expect to have any decisions <laughs> made. However, <laughs> I can't guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> and I will. Uh, are, are we offline?